Hi, I'm Vince from Two Weeks in a Hammock, and uh, today we are going to be treating some clothes uh, with permethrin. We're getting ready for a, a couple week trip out to Manitou Island, and we've discovered that uh, ticks are quite bad this year in the National Park, uh, that's Sleeping Bear Dunes National Park, and of course they're bad all over the country. Now there's many ways to treat your clothes. Um, there are spray-on products that you can buy. Uh, I think those can be rather expensive if you're treating a, a larger volume of clothes. Um, I've tried a few different options and the one that I've settled on for now is, uh, this is Martin's Permethrin 10% and I bought this from uh, Tractor Supply Company and uh, this is the only product that I've found so far that does not use petroleum as the solvent base so it, it won't have the gasoline smell that I've found with other products. So this is a 10% uh, and this is a one pint um, bottle and I'm going to dilute it approximately down to 1%. It'll be a little bit more actually, but I'm using one gallon of water. One gallon, of course, is eight pints. And then uh, one pint of the permethrin. Now permethrin is a pesticide. It um, causes toxic nerve damage to animals. You don't want to touch this stuff with your bare skin when it's in the liquid form, but after it's dried out, it's um, supposedly safe. Uh, you don't want to do this around fish or cats. It tends to be particularly bad for them. And I do wear gloves because it's, it's a pretty bad chemical. So I'm just going to kind of stir this up a little bit. The um, other options I've tried that use petroleum, they mix up looking like paint thinner and smelling quite strong. So this one uh, is relatively odorless. And then I just take our camping clothes. Soak them all in there. So I've got several sets of clothing. And I'm kind of churning it around like a like a washing machine maybe. Now when I do this for myself, usually I'm only treating outer layers. So um, long pants, long sleeve shirt. I wouldn't do a t-shirt that's going to be right up against me. Um, I, when I'm hiking in tick country, I will tend to tuck the pant legs into my socks. And uh, so I don't see a lot of point in treating shorts because if you get a tick crawling up your leg, it's just going to go right under your shorts. Um, so long pants, long sleeve shirt, tuck your shirt into your pants, tuck your pants into your socks, tuck your socks into your shoes. <laughs> okay, so these, all these clothes are pretty saturated now with this solution. 
and I would say I've uh, probably soaked up about 75% of the solution that I used. So uh, we put in, I think, uh, maybe three pairs of socks, or I'm uh, three pairs of pants, couple pairs of socks, and uh, two or three shirts. So these are all soaked up pretty good. And then as I pull them out, you can kind of squeeze a little bit of the excess water, but you, you don't want to just wring it out. You want to have the fabric saturated with the chemical. and just lay it out to dry and uh, do this on a day when you know you're going to have a couple days of nice dry sunny weather um, and the water content will evaporate away and leave the chemical in the fabric. And once, the, uh, once it's dried, from what I've read, the chemical is bonded into the fibers of the fabric and is no longer harmful to people, but of course it's very deadly to insects. And I have sometimes watched bugs crawl on my leg for a few minutes and then just start twitching and fall off so it's it can be pretty strong stuff synthetic materials like polyester and nylon will not be as absorbent as cotton uh, generally don't really want to wear cotton on a backpacking trip, but um, I do like to take cotton to sleep in, but I would not treat the clothes that I'm going to sleep in with this chemical. So this time we're just treating few articles of clothing but I've also used this to uh, treat the bug nets for our hammock and uh, that provides uh, as mosquitoes are trying to find a way in they're just dying and in the morning you find a whole circle of dead mosquitoes around your hammock so that's how you know it works Okay, so I did wring those out uh, just just a little bit just to get some of the excess uh, content out and I've only got a little bit of uh, liquid left so that amount, a one pint uh, container was just right for this amount of clothing. You could do a little bit more. Um, also the solution that I mixed up would, would be a little bit more than 1% concentration. Um, if you buy the uh, spray-on containers, they're usually about a half percent concentration. So this might be a little more concentrated than what you spray on. Uh, now after your clothes are treated and the chemical is bonded into the fabric itself, um, it's usually good for, I, I typically do it once a year. Um, you might be able to get away with a couple years depending how often you use the clothes. It's, uh, from what I've read, really degrades through the um, abrasive process of being in a dryer. So it's not really, it's not going to wash out if you get it wet um, once it's dried. But over time, rubbing it uh, 
somehow that's what I've read. Eventually, um, uh, you need to retreat it after a while. So I think I've read, you know, 10 to 20 washes maybe is typical for how long you can expect the product to be effective. So that's it for treating your clothes. Wait for them to dry. Give them a couple days. Um, and enjoy the outdoors and be safe.